This following short video titled Running Stride Study, which has a subtitle of Defining the Corridors of Operation, takes a look at a runner's stride from two specific points of view. First, the anterior view, and second, the posterior view. That is, to clarify, we will show you images of a runner's stride. First, the anterior view, where the runner runs directly into the camera's lens, and then second, the posterior view, where the runner runs directly away from the lens. The viewer should try to understand that what we are trying to show here is an imaginary point of view about two things. We are asking this runner to run directly over the line painted on the track and to imagine that line as an extension of the imaginary line coming out of the body of the runner. That imaginary line being, of course, the entire line of the spinal column going down be between the legs through the pelvis to the track. Now look closely at the ballistic stroke of each leg and imagine, if you will, that that stroke is defining a corridor, a three-dimensional box for which each left and right leg must operate in. What we are trying to define is the corridor of operation of both left and right legs. And most importantly, we want to see an action, a tire stroke, that defines a corridor box that does not encumber on the other leg. That is, the corridors of operation should be separate and defined for the leg on the right and the leg on the left. In this particular runner, because of chronically compulsive short muscles extending from the base of the feet all the way up into the pelvis, you will note, especially in the back kick, that there is a crossing over, sometimes referred to as a scissoring of the gait of this athlete's stride. This is unacceptable and, in fact, is fairly unusual to see. And again, it is principally caused in the structure and order and organization, or tightness if you would like, of those muscles. There is not enough freedom to allow the individual left and right legs in their ballistic action to operate within their own corridor of operation. There should be no crossing over. Those two boxes should be separate and defined never should they cross over. And yet we see a clear crossing of the gate as you see in the back kick on this particular shot here in the posterior view. We will then shortly take a look at some top level runners and view their corridors of operation. 